Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sew a lined Christmas stocking. This is a design that I came up with last year, right before Christmas, and I really wanted to share it with you this year. So it's really simple to sew. You'll need about a half yard of fabric for your exterior and your lining, and then like a five inch loop of twill tape or ribbon. The pattern for this stocking is free and you can get it by signing up for my newsletter. My newsletter goes out about once a week, sometimes more if I'm having a special launch or a sale. And you can unsubscribe at any time. There's a link down in the show notes so you can go over to the blog and sign up for the newsletter. And then when you get the newsletter, there will be a password for my resource library that has all of the pattern add-ons and um, other PDFs that you need for my tutorials. So it's really great. You're going to have them all in one spot and you only have to sign up one time. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is download the pattern. This pattern can be printed on letter or A4 size paper, and it takes four pieces of paper. And you'll just want to trim up the edges of the top two and tape the three first pages together, and then trim this bottom edge of your first page, and you can tape it to the fourth page. So you're going to have this layout just like this. This was the most economical way I could figure out how to get it onto four pages. And then you can go cut your pattern out along the solid line. The dashed line right here is the stitching line, and you're going to need two from your main fabric of the stocking and two of the lining fabric. And then this pattern piece is for the cuff and you just need one of these and it's cut on the fold. And you can use the same fabric as your main body fabric or you can use a contrasting fabric. So I already have my fabric cut out and I'm using this gold for my main outside body and for the cuff. So here's the cuff, and then I'm using a plaid for my lining. So first, let's put our cuff right sides together, and we're going to stitch it along the short edge. So I'm just going to put a couple pins in there to hold it together. Next, we take the body and we put it right sides together, and we're going to sew down along the sides, around the toe, and then up the other side and leave this top open. So we can just put in a few pins to hold it all in place. Okay, I have my machine set up with a straight stitch and I'm using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. So let's start with our little cuff and we'll just sew down that short side. Okay, and then you also want to make sure you do a little back stitch at the beginning and end. Then what you want to do is take this to the pressing station and just gently press the seam open. You do want to be careful with fabrics like velvet because um, the iron can damage the fabric. I'm going to keep stitching, so let's grab the body of our stocking and we're going to stitch around the sides and just leave the top open. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with my lining and my big tip for sewing around this is that when you get to the curved edges, it might be helpful to slow down. Okay, let's go prepare our next step. All right, we're already on to our final step. So we have the main parts of the stocking sewn and our cuff sewn and our um, little seam just gently pressed open. So what we wanna do is fold the cuff with the wrong sides together. And you can press this if you want, um, but I kind of like it looking a little floppy and not sharp. So I just skip the pressing and you just wanna to try to get those raw edges lined up. So we're gonna leave our lining fabric with the wrong side out. 
And then we want to take the main part of our stocking and do a few little clips in here. So I'm just going to get my scissors and make little cuts. And I'm just going to cut away a little bit of a fabric just from the seam allowance and don't cut through your stitching line. And this will just help us get a smoother edge when we put it right side out. So I've clipped all around those curved edges and I'm going to go ahead and turn it right side out. So you can just put your hand in and pull it through and then push out that curved edge. And I usually just use my fingers, but you could also use a chopstick. Um, just don't push it too hard. You don't want to break your stitches. So there's our the outside of our stocking that's looking pretty good. And then we're going to put our lining inside. So just stuff this in here. And if you want, you could trim down the seam allowance of your lining. So I'm gonna nest my seams together with the seam allowance for this, the lining going one way and the seam allowance for the stocking going the other way and just pin these together, lining up the raw edge and matching and matching our seams. So then you wanna get some sort of ribbon. You could even make a little piece um, using your outside fabric. And this one is about five inches long and this is going to be for hanging the stocking. So just fold it in half so you have a little loop and then we're gonna pin it on the inside on this end of the stocking. So kind of that back end. So you just put it in here and put some pins in. And if you're worried about things shifting, now would be a really good time to baste everything down. So just use a long straight stitch and stitch all the way around. And then you'll know these layers are together securely. I'm going to kind of cheat the process and skip basting and put my cuff on now. So the cuff is gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna line up the seam in the cuff with our hanging ribbon. So I just put those together and then put these pins in again. And then I wanna find kind of the midpoint of the cuff and match that with the other seam. And that'll help us get an even distribution. And then just pin all those layers together. So you have your stocking, your lining, the ribbon, and then your cuff. It's a bunch of layers. But sewing them all in one go makes it super fast. Okay, I have this all pinned and I'm going to head over to the sewing machine. Okay. Now we're just going to stitch around the top of our stocking. So I'm going to slide this under here and I'm just using a regular straight stitch. And I have my fabric like this, so I'm going to sew around the loop. So as you go around, you can just move your fabric and adjust it to get it in place. I find that velvet can be a little shifty, so I got a couple of wrinkles. I'm not gonna sweat it. The final thing we wanna do is finish this edge. You can do that with your serger or with the zigzag stitch. And this is really important if you plan on washing the stockings. If you don't plan on washing them, you can skip this step. Okay, now we're ready to just flip our cuff to the outside. You just turn your cuff out You can kind of pull up your little hanging ribbon and our stocking is all done. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial. For my Christmas stockings, I used velvet that I found from the thrift store, which was a really great find. I got it a number of years ago and I've been using it over the years for different projects. Um, I think it's just 
probably a polyester velvet, but it really worked well for this project. And then for the lining, I used a kind of cotton fabric. If you enjoy this video, I encourage you to go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this free content, there are links down in the show notes to visit my shop or buy me a coffee. Happy sewing!